Hi, my name is Kendra, and I am a media mentor at the Poudre River Public Libraries. In today's tech tip, I'm going to demonstrate how to save and rename documents. Let's get started. Today I am using Microsoft Word, and I have chosen a resume template. Now, let's say I have already entered my information into this document and I'm ready to save it. To save my document, I have a couple of options. First, I can choose the Save button in the left-hand corner, a little floppy disk image. When I select that with my left mouse button, it automatically jumps me to this Save As window. Now I'm going to return to my document. The other way I can navigate to that Save window is by entering the Backstage view. To do that, I will select File, and then in this left-hand menu, I can select Save As. In this window, I can choose the location where I would like to save my file. I'm going to keep it on this PC and select the Documents folder. Now the Save As dialog box will appear. In this dialog box, I can rename my file under File Name. You'll notice that as soon as I enter this dialog box, the text is already highlighted in blue. That means it's selected, and as soon as I start typing, the text will change. So I'm going to start typing and put in the word resume. Great, now I can click Save. And here in my document, you can see up at the top that name resume has been applied. So I can now make more changes to my document. And as I go, I can simply select that Save button and those changes will be added to my file. Since I've already chosen a location for my file and named it, when I select this Save symbol, it will no longer open that Save As window. All right, I'm going to close out of my document. And now I'm going to enter File Explorer by double-clicking on this File Explorer icon. And here I can find my document under the Documents folder. On my computer is listed under Quick Access. If you don't see it there, look under this PC and find that Documents folder. And here is my file resume. Now let's say I've decided I'd rather name my document something else. To do that, I can take my cursor over the document, right click with my mouse, and a drop down menu will appear. From here down towards the bottom, I can choose Rename. You know, a little text box will appear. If I type in here, I can change the name of my document. The other way to do that, let me click off. I'm going to select the document with my left mouse button, and then click again with my left mouse button on that file name, and that text box will appear once again. So I'm going to click in there and type in 2019 to change the name of my document. To keep those changes, I will simply click off the document, and now it has a new name. I'm going to double-click on the file icon to reopen my document in Word. Now let's say that I would like to update my file without losing this original Resume 2019 document. To do that, I'm going to enter the Backstage view and select Save As. From here again, I can choose where I would like to save my file, so I'm going to select Documents again. And here under File Name, I'm going to enter a new file name. I'm just going to make it Resume 2020 and select Save. Now here in my file, you can see that new name has been applied. And as I work in here and make changes, it will be saved to that new document. If I return to the File Explorer window, you can see here under Documents that I now have two files, Resume 2019 and Resume 2020. Thank you for watching this tech tip on how to save and rename documents from the Pooter Libraries. To watch more tech tips, check out the Pooter Libraries playlist on YouTube or visit our website at pooterlibraries.org.